Question 10. Mrs. Chan bought some pencils for a group of pupils. In this question, we have Mrs. Chan. Do we know the number of pencils she bought? We do not know since the question states some. Let's draw a model to help us remember that Mrs. Chan bought some pencils. Now that we are done, the next question from me to you is, do we know how many pupils are there in the group? The question did not state as well, potentially indicating this is what we need to help Mrs. Chan with finding. Let's help ourselves by letting one unit be the unknown number of pupils. Let's continue reading. If she gave each pupil three pencils, she will have 13 pencils left. If she gave each pupil five pencils, she will need five more pencils. In these two sentences, we see the word if. Let's zoom in to each of these if sentences. Using a pen, indicate a number one. We shall refer to this sentence as case one. In case one, we noted a keyword that is left. What does left mean? Does it mean that Mrs. Chan has too many pencils or too few pencils? Left means that she bought too many pencils. Or in other words, she has excess. Let's do the same thing now to the green highlighted sentence. We will use a pen and indicate a number 2 beside the sentence. Let's refer to this sentence as case 2. In case 2, we noted a keyword that is need. What does need mean? Does Mrs. Chan have too many pencils or too few pencils in case 2? Need means that she has too few pencils. And it also means that she has not enough. So in this case, she has a shortage. This question is a classical example where we apply the gap and difference concept, which is also known as excess and shortage. How do we identify such a question type? First, we will see the keyword if twice. Some people call this the if-if question. Secondly, usually we will see two cases or two scenarios, which we have indicated in this question as case 1 and case 2. Lastly, there will be the situation of excess and excess, or shortage and shortage, or excess and shortage. And in our question itself, case 1 is an excess, while case 2 is a shortage situation. Now, how do we draw the model out to solve this question? We know that Mrs. Chan has some pencils, indicated by the black model that we have drawn earlier. Let's attempt to draw case 1. First, copy and paste what Mrs. Chan has. We know that the keyword left means that she has excess pencils. Let's cut the portion out from this model to set aside for this excess. So what happened to the remaining balance? Referring to case 1, she gave each pupil 3 pencils. Keep in mind that we have one unit of pupils. Mrs. Chan actually gave away three units worth of pencils. We can note this down in our case 1 blue model. With case 1 tackle, let's go to case 2. How should my case 2 model look like? Is it the same or does it differ from case 1? Before I share the answer, feel free to pause this video and try drawing case 2 model on your own first. Again. We copy and paste what Mrs. Chan has. We know that the keyword need means that she does not have enough pencils. How can we help her? We can lend her more pencils so that she has enough for all her pupils. We do not want a situation of unfairness among her pupils. Let's use dotted lines to indicate these five extra pencils that we lend to Mrs. Chan since she has a shortage and she doesn't actually have these five pencils. With all these pencils, and keeping in mind that we have one unit of pupils, Mrs. Chan actually gave away five units of pencils in case two. We can note this down in our case two green model. It is important to note that if you can make the parts equal for your model, always do it, and this will help you to solve the question. Let's copy and paste the 13 in case one to case two model. What else can we see and indicate on the model to solve the question? There is a clear gap in the units, and in this case, it is 5 units minus 3 units, which will give us 2 units. What is this 2 units? Let's look at the model again. The act of Mrs. Chai giving 3 pencils in case 1 and 5 pencils in case 2 to each pupil gives us a difference of 2 pencils per pupil. With all the differences added up, a gap of 2 units is produced. 
And this gap of two units is shown on the model as 13 plus 5, which gives us 18. Can you solve for one unit? And if you answer 9, you are on the right track. The question is asking, how many pupils were there in the group? Remember that we had helped ourselves earlier by letting one unit be the unknown number of pupils? We can now easily find the answer to the question. And since we have derived that one unit is 9, the answer to the question is 9 pupils.